So there are certain characters in regular expressions that have special meanings, and these are known as meta characters. Now, there's way too many meta characters for me to explain each one in this video, but what I will do is explain some of the more common ones, then leave a link down below to a list of the rest of them so you can check them out in your own time. So first of all, backslash D. This will match any digit character, and it's the same as writing a 0 to 9 range inside a character set. These are going to do pretty much the same thing. So this is the first meta character I wanted to show you. Next is backslash W, and this will match any word character. Now, this can be a bit confusing when you first start out, because if someone said word character to me, I'd automatically think, well, that must be letters A to Z. But it can also include numbers and underscores. So backslash W, this meta character matches lowercase letters, uppercase letters, 0 to 9, and underscores. Next is backslash S, and this will match a white space character, such as a space or a tab. And then finally, backslash T, this will match a tab character only. Now, notice this. In front of each of these letters, D, W, S, and T, there is a backslash, okay? This is what escapes the normal behavior of those letters and turns them into a meta character with special abilities, all right? So if you imagine we have a regular expression, if we were to place a D in that regular expression, then that would match, by default, the literal character D, okay? If we place a backslash in front of that D, then it escapes the normal behavior of the D and turns it into a meta character. And now this matches any digit character. The same is true for each of these letters. W would match the literal character W in a regular expression, but place a backslash before it and it becomes a meta character, which will match any word character. All right then, so let's try out a few of these meta characters. So first of all, I wanna try out backslash D. And remember, if you're unsure as to what something means over here in the regex pattern, then you can always look in the explanation and it's going to say exactly what it does. And remember, backslash D matches any digit character from 0 to 9. So if I type in 0, it works, 5 works, 8, it works, and 9, that also works. We get matches on all of those. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, next, backslash W. And remember, this is any word character, and it says exactly what it matches over here. So first of all, let's try A, V works, capital A, capital B, they work, letters and numbers, remember, so zero, that works, six, we get a match, nine, we get a match, and finally, underscores as well, that gets a match. But if we try something like an at symbol, this is not included in this thing right here, so that doesn't match, okay? And finally, I'll show you backslash S, which is any white space character. So if I do a space, I get a match. If I do a tab, I get a match as well. Okay. So let's try a little combination of each one of these in one regular expression. So if I start off with backslash D, I'm saying I want the first character to be a digit, a number from zero to nine. Then, if I do backslash S, I'm saying I want the second character to be some kind of white space. Then, if I do backslash W, I'm saying I want the third character to be any word character. So, the first one is a digit. Let's do one. Then, it's a white space for the second one right here. Then, it's any word character, so I'll do N. And now we get a match, okay? So... This regular expression is matching this kind of pattern, and it could be something like 5 tab P, and that will get a match. Even though these two things are very different, they both match this regular expression. A digit first, then some kind of white space, then a word character. Both of these match that pattern. Okay, so let's do something a little bit more complex and bring in some of the things we learned in the previous tutorials. So we'll say after the D here, We'll open our curly braces and I'll put a three in there. And remember, this means I want the thing before it to repeat three times. So I'm saying I want the first three characters of the pattern to be digits, so three numbers, okay? Then after the S, I'm just gonna leave that. In fact, we just want one white space. Then after the W, I'll do a five in curly braces, meaning I want to end this expression in a five letter word, or it could be words and numbers, anything that's a word character. Okay, so let's try this out. First of all, we need three digits, so one, two, three, that's fine. 
then a single white space, could be a space or a tab, it's up to you. Then I'll do a five letter word, so I'll do ninja. Now we get a match, okay? Let's do a different example, 987, then a tab, and then hello, that also matches. Cool, but if we were to do two white spaces, we don't get a match right here because we're saying we only want right here to have one white space. Likewise, we could add in a number, this matches over here, but if we were to add a letter at the start, then this is not going to match because we're saying the first three characters has to be a digit and we only have two and then a letter. Okay, so I hope this all makes sense and I hope you're beginning to see beyond the gobbledygook when you look at something like this and you can begin to understand what exactly these different meta characters mean.